What is going on guys, JFC here. The things that we have gotten since our last market video is absolutely absurd. It's just constant SBCs right now on the FIFA 23. It's constant store packs right now. And obviously the market is seeing the effect of all of that right now, basically. If you wanna see me open a ton of packs, watch the video I uploaded late yesterday. I opened a ton of packs in there. I'm probably gonna upload a similar video today, basically opening a ton of packs because that's all there is in this game right now, basically, which is fun in some ways and not in others, which we can talk about in a little bit. But first and foremost, yeah, this has been utterly insane. We have been getting store packs like we've never seen before, basically, constantly, right? Right now, we have lightning rounds right now at just an absurd time of day. Right now, it's it's 5 a.m. UK, and we're getting lightning rounds. Um, 250,000 coin Black Friday pack. You can't see it because my face cam is in the way, but it's 250,000 coins. I'm sure you've seen uh, 3,000 3, FIFA points, and this is a complete scam. If you watch people open these packs, you literally get nothing in them. It's horrible. 200,000 coin pack is the exact same. You get a hero. It's not even a guaranteed World Cup hero, let alone, like, you can get a base hero with this. I mean, that's just, it's really bad. Um, yeah, they're releasing all these packs, and they all suck to do for coins. But for one, not for FIFA points, and people still, despite them being awful value, if you buy them with coins, people are still buying them with coins. First and foremost, though, before we get into, like, how the market looks right now, what, what I'm expecting it to be uh, in the coming days, we have some leaks. Bossy and Schweinsteiger added to come via World Cup Icon SBC, so that's a pretty usable icon. This is what the card is least to look like, I think, so 75 pace with a lot of good stats around him. So the pace obviously isn't ideal, but um, Schweinsteiger is actually really good this year. So I think this card, if it's like reasonably priced, reasonably priced, I think that Schweinsteiger should actually be a pretty decent SBC. So I hope for that. Then we have Christian Eriksen supposed to come as an SBC um, sometime soon. And hopefully he's yeah got a pretty good card because Chris, Chris, Christian Eriksen is five star weak foot, obviously four star skills. He's been a great card in FIFA in the past. So and it's been a while since we've seen that. So it'd be pretty cool for him to get like a really nice card. And then the biggest leak is that World Cup stories are supposed to come soon, which I don't know what this is just more promo cards, I'm assuming. Um, Van Dyke has had to come in the World Cup stories. And then obviously the car design looks pretty sick. But as you can see right here, Nepenthes, is these upgradable question mark? For Sheriff says no. So these are not upgradable. So we're going to get just more promo cards is my guess revolving around, you know, something to do with the World Cup. So with the lease, that's pretty much it. What I do want to talk about though, is the fact that we're getting like SPCs released like in random times, right? Like we got this SPC release at 1.30 my time, which is 7.30 UK. That was when the Baser Mid Icon came out and the 78 plus player pick. So we're seeing SPC is getting released like all day which is also contributing to the fact that it's very difficult to really get a grip on what the market is going to look like because of the fact that, that these SBCs are getting released at really random times, right? So basically every card in the market has just gotten hit. There's almost no escaping it. World Cup heroes are down. Gold cards obviously down. The, um, what are they called? Fucking, I don't even remember. What are they called? The, the shit promo cards. That's what they are. Uh, they're down in price. Vinny is 44,000. <laughs> Uh, yeah, just everything's going down because people are selling their teams to open some of these packs and they shouldn't, but that's just what's going to happen. There's not a whole lot to talk about here other than the fact that like Cyber Monday is coming in two days, right? Uh, and I'm guessing we're going to see the same type of stuff we saw on Black Friday. So we have another huge influx of supply coming on Monday, in my opinion. You know, we might see that market rise that we see on some Mondays, like going into content on Monday. Uh, but after content, we're going to get a lot of supply. And the supply on some cards right now is just absurd and we're just gonna see more like we're just gonna see more supply there's no doubt in my mind and we go when it goes to sbc fodder unfortunately guys i didn't upload my video yesterday so yeah fodder is up and if you guys did buy because i obviously talked about buying over the weekend unfortunately i did make a video yesterday talking about this because i probably would have said hey i'd look at buying some stuff but um 87s are twenty thousand, and obviously you could have gotten 87s for like fifteen thousand before so they're at 5k 88s are still basically just absurdly uh overrated in price so yeah fodder is up and i'm assuming because we're getting so many gamble packs right it's probably gonna stay up at least for the course of today i'm not expecting it to go down really at all even though we're gonna get more supply probably more lightning rounds i'm not expecting it to go down very much at all i would think the, the best chance for it to go down uh is probably on monday to potentially like reinvest again but yeah fodder trading got a little bit messed up because of we're getting spcs released like at, at like an hour and a half after content or like three hours before content so it was hard to say like okay we didn't get content this day now we buy because we're gonna see it tomorrow like we can see content anytime and it like fucks with supply and it fucks with the demand so it 
hard to like really get a grasp on the market just in general right now like this is almost impossible to read what the market's going to do because we're getting constant supply constant store packs and de different demand in certain areas and just no demand in certain areas and it's just impossible to to really gauge and get a grasp on the market right now the best thing you can do in my opinion is just stay tradable as as little as you can really that's about all you can do if, you, if you've done that you've made so many coins off buying power you know if you instead of buying your account in Mastrano for your team you were liquid instead for a weekend you saved yourself like a hundred thousand coins on dirt cow was like a 310 Mastrano was 130 so you save yourself 80 90 000 coins on two cards and obviously effectively you made 90 000 coins in buying power because the whole market is down and just for the most part i'm still staying with the same philosophy like i'm just not really trying to look at too much there's not really much more else to say other than that i think buying teams i think we will see a market rise probably i think we're going to see a market rise eventually like usually after black friday we see market rises um because people spend people points coins get injected into their accounts and into the game in general so that just increases the amount of demand on the higher end cards because more people just have coins but right now with these packs like do you know how many people lost 200k today on this pack 100 gold rare players people were getting nothing in this like i've seen a couple with no walkouts like it's actually insane so people are ripping open these packs of coins are they're just tempting and people are doing it and that's just going to affect the buying power of the market i think too and the fact that a lot of these packs um are some of them are untradeable and the fact that some of these packs are untradeable too might limit the rise a little teeny bit but um i'm expecting the rise to happen sometime probably over the course of later this week if i had to guess if the promo runs all the way to like wednesday or thursday um then yeah probably not going to be until like the next friday night saturday morning we'll see a market rise but um if this content ends like after cyber monday i think tuesday night is a great time for the market to go up i think tuesday night the market will probably be doing pretty well so maybe we can look at investing things on monday is there a time where it says this is done by let me look at see if there's like a, a loading screen see if this ends on wednesday um so this ends on wednesday and this ends on friday so maybe so maybe lightning round stuff will end on wednesday so maybe that's gonna be the move then if, if that ends on like tuesday or wednesday maybe buying cards on tuesday but we're gonna talk about all of that in, in a little bit but um yeah this content is basically literally just like fuck it that that's the entire mentality from ea for this content and it's making the market just go insane there are no safe cards right now no no icons are safe no anything is safe right now in the market the your safest option are these world cup hero cards in my opinion they still are the safest option they're not safe but they're the safest option in my opinion we've never seen this many upgrade packs in store ever can we count how many there are three on that page four five six seven eight nine if you include the world cup player ones it's 10 and 11. that's 11 gamble spcs usually we have like one or two right with the we'll have the base or mid icon plus the player pick or the base or mid icon plus like this campaign bag player pick right we'll see a mix of those two usually but never this many on the market i think because it's so new to people uh that just induces more panic i think the more that we might see more of this the less panic we may see at the same time though ea do not care about this market like they just don't care the players are cheap the players are cheap they don't care they're gonna make money off fifa points and the gamble spcs and the gamble packs in the store like that's all that's gonna happen is all that they care about and it sucks because there's still no way to really grind out fodder too much right like obviously these objectives that they've released have been pretty decent right like uh the black friday where is it it's just the black friday objective right win 30 win 40 win 50 you end up getting some decent packs premium gold players packs for each 10 wins this one's an 84 plus rare gold player pack you can get some fodder in here like the rare mega pack at the end is really nice so they're trying to give us packs to let us get fodder without giving us league sbcs so i'm pretty certain that league sbcs probably are not coming very soon i still think and i'm only i hope that they'll come later but um the fact that we're getting all of these packs like, this is how they're gonna have us earn packs just through gameplay which isn't that bad we just need a balance i want to earn packs through gameplay and also just menu grind right you're gonna be able to do both getting enough fodder to do all of these um sbcs is like just it's just too much. I think we're gonna have to get used to the fact that SPCs are gonna come out like these gamble SPCs that everybody wants to do, but you're gonna have to choose, right? Like you're gonna have to choose if you want to do the icon. Like you're gonna have to choose if you want to do the icon or like the hero pack, the campaign player pick, right? In theory, I don't mind that at all. Cause you know, just the more options, the better, right? For at all times, basically. 
Problem is, you can't get fodder very easily, and people can't do these. I don't think there's much more to say about the market right now. It's just a complete fucking shambles. Everything is is in flames right now. The SPCs are just constant, Um, and we can make a more like in-depth video about this and talk about this in a day or two to see if anything changes really with this content. I'm not expecting it to, obviously, but um, see, honestly, I don't know if there's much more to say right now. Like, if we go to SPCs, I mean, this is just, oh, uh, I'll make a video on this in probably a day or two, just to see what they release, you know, see if anything changes here. But it really stinks not being able to do these SPCs. Like, that's just, it, it, that is for sure. I spend so much time in this game, and yet here I am, not being able to open packs and SPCs. Now, obviously, I can just buy the fodder. At the same time, if I don't want, only want to use untradeable fodder that I've been saving up, good luck with getting untradeable fodder. Like, where you get from different rivals rewards? You know, how else are you getting it? Gold rare is only 700 right now because these upgrades, which I'm a little surprised there, are Brazilian gold rare is going for more than that. 700, they, like 800? So not very much. But guys, today our job is keeping an eye out in the store, honestly. The Black Friday 10 coin pack, you know, refreshes at like random times, basically. And if you see more lighting rounds, then you know that the market's just going to keep going down. It's just going to keep going down. This is the cheapest market we've ever seen. It's the most insane SPC content we've ever seen in terms of just sheer numbers of upgrade packs. Hopefully they release swap tokens today. Um, if that's the case, I'll have a 384 times 20 also with a couple of icon packs coming today later in my video as well. Sorry for the short video. I just don't think there's much to talk about the market right now simply because sorry for the short video. Sorry for the short video is not too much to go in depth about in the market right now because it's just kind of um, market crash central and I'm not looking to buy things right now. Personally, I'm not. If you think this video deserves a like, leave a thumbs up. I love you all. So subscribe if you're new around here for all types of fun FIFA content on the channel. I'll see you guys in this video. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Peace.